What's up, local player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys having a very good day today. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. We have here a no item run for Extreme Super Battle Pure Saiyans. I know I'm very late here, but this was actually taken a couple days uh, before the Super Vegeta came out. And actually, I think it's a perfect time here because I did see a lot of people here, unfortunately, that did not pull the new Super Vegeta. So, uh, again, you can maybe use this team if you actually haven't beat the event or pulled Vegeta yet here. Um, but yes, we actually get here a no item run. And the real MVP of this run here is actually going to be here Raditz. Now, Raditz, as you guys know, has a guaranteed stun for one turn. But because of the same name update, we can actually bring here the TUR version and the SSR version, right? Now, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is also the second MVP. The only issue with that with this Vegeta is that, you know, he only has a 50% chance to stun. So it is very based on RNG here. So you want to go more additional than crits. Um, but now you can see we actually got here the double stun, which is really good. Um, now, also the SSR version is that he is able to stun for two turns, but he only has a medium chance. Now, my tech radish is only 55% for the SSR version. Um, and the reason why I actually went with this approach here is because I was thinking about Super Vegeta when I was doing my trial test. And basically, like, Super Vegeta does have guaranteed crits and a guaranteed stun, but it's only for one turn. And then basically, you know, I was like, oh, well, Tech Rise has the exact same thing. He has a, a guaranteed stun for one turn as well. And you don't even have to get a super attack. So that's just something I actually decided to do here um, to bring the SSR version. Now, this is a little bit based on RNG. Also, I know I'm not the first character, I mean, the first person here, sorry, to actually get this done. I see some screenshots here, shout out to Tom as well. You actually get the, you actually got this done here, I believe um, the UI Goku as well, with a very similar team build. Um, the only issue is that I did also bring the um, the uh, Super Saiyan Goku from the movies against Cooler. Uh, he has a beautiful chance to stun, but when the RNG does not hit, it's just like you take like 200k of damage per normal, which is really disgusting. So that's why I decided to bring the SSR Rats because it is a guaranteed stun for basically one turn. Um, but also, again, does have a 30% chance of stun here. So when actually using the cycle rotation, uh, you actually want to make sure you're actually going for one character. Uh, and our main character on this stage will be, of course, Gotenks because he is going to be the one that's kind of like type advantage against most of our units here and most of a threat here as well. So, uh, again, as long as Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is actually able to get a stun off, then we are looking very, very good, which we actually get here, which is really good. And now we can actually get a stun here, of course, on Trunks, because, again, it is a guaranteed stun. So, of course, we get Super, which is beautiful, because Vegeta has the damage reduction and type advantage. And then here comes Tech Raditz with a guaranteed stun, so beautiful. And, of course, I have this Goku go back here. Um on Goten just in case he actually does not get the stun here which you guys just saw he actually did not get the stun so again very unfortunate he does have a 70% chance to stun the enemy but sometimes it just doesn't play out um again um Goku and Vegeta are also like the third most important character and the reason why is because their healing is actually really good but also the scatter effect but also as well as that in the first two stages uh Gohan and Trunks are both going to be physical units so by doing so we can actually concentrate on the other unit that actually be here um, type neutral or type disadvantage and keep them on the stun lockdown while we slowly take care of Trunks here. Because do keep in mind the um, LR Goku and Vegeta, even the Tech Gogeta as well, as well right, um, in their base form, they can triple super. So I went full additional on my um, on my Vegito and Gogeta as well, but more crit on my... Um, on my Vegito here, but uh, again, you probably want to go more additional than crits because in today's meta, right? Um, defense is super, super important. So if you actually get off three super attacks, then we can absolutely um, just, you know, take almost no damage whatsoever, right? So again, it's the same strategy over and over again. We just go for go tanks and then we slowly go here for, um, which is for here for trunks here because trunks again is super easy. Again, the RNG was super beautiful on this phase right here because all the attacks are in the front so at least we don't have to worry about Vegeta at the back here now evolution blue Vegeta is just donkey donkey balls right now he is so terrible um, this freaking guy takes 200k on normals which is just ridiculous so I, I don't know what happened but like his easy needs to happen like ASAP because 
he is just not runnable. Not even long events, I would say he's actually viable as an option, right? Um, but again, I did bring him here because of the of course of the HP and defense, where we are getting 170. So that was a huge, huge factor. So of course, again, we can see here that, um, which is Facer, that Goten is actually going to be stunned for two turns. And basically, I want to make sure I have here six key spheres for next phase, which is why I decided not to go for uh, those tech key spheres. But before we super attack against type advantage with, with damage reduction, LR Goku and Vegeta are taking 30k from normals, right? Which is disgusting. Now again, the double super is really good, raises our defense. Um, and if we triple super, we can actually, you know, be almost invincible. So now we actually have one opponent here. Now Rats does have a 50% chance to stun for two turns, which we actually get, and that's actually really good. And then of course here, just to make sure that he is stunned, we actually have your Goku just go completely ham. So now we actually have your a stun lockdown. So now this is another crucial part when actually running this type of team build, is that in this phase here, you actually want to go ahead and um, you actually want to go ahead and actually start next phase or the next stage with this rotation with both the rats and also the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta because of their chance of stun here. So now this is just basically trying to find a way to actually kill Goten but not kill him with this rotation right here. So again, we got a beautiful stun. Again, he's stunned locked down for two turns, which is really good. And then of course here, uh, here comes Super Vegeta. I mean Super Vegeta, sorry, the Evolution Blue Vegeta here. So he's just slowly, slowly racking up his attack and defense. Uh, but again, his EZ8 needs to be godly because it's just not, it's just not there, right? Um, again, with the SR Super Vegeta, it's going to be way more easier. But I wouldn't say it would be that crazy easy. Uh, I haven't tested it out yet because I just pulled a character. But, I mean, the only issue is that you definitely want to have him at, at, like, at least 79% if you're going to try and do a, a no item run attempt. And the reason why is because, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the reason why is because uh, if Super Vision gets Super Attack in the first spot, uh, he takes, he's going to take a lot of damage. Because again, this stage right here is very unforgiving. Alright, so again, we have the stun here. This Raz gets a stun. He does not, but he gets a beautiful crit. Oh, never mind. I actually get a stun here. And then here comes Super Vegito. So we are for sure going to kill Goten. Which is exactly what you want. So now we actually start the next phase with the same rotation. But now we have your three stunners as well. So again, this really all depends on Super Vegeta. I mean, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here, right? So uh, RNG was very good. We were actually able to get your six keysters for the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Vegeta here. And I'm pretty sure I go for... Do I go for Gotenks or do I go for Gohan? I'm pretty sure I also restart the after because I don't remember what I did. Um, I think I was supposed to go for, yeah, I'm going for Goten. Yeah, there we go. And then, of course, I go here for Gohan. So, again, if we can actually stun here um, Gotenks, we are looking pretty good here. Um, do I restart the app? I'm pretty sure I restart the app because I thought for a second I did aim for Gohan uh, with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here. Uh, let me see what happens. I'm pretty sure I restart the app right here. Or I don't. Oh, I don't. Okay, never mind. I take it back. So again, most attacks are in the front. Very, very good. And now, again, we need Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta to come in the clutch. Because this is going to be very important here. Alright, so we get a beautiful Dole contact. And then here comes, you know, Vegeta. Vegeta, I need you to stun. Um, if you are one of these free play players and you are looking for a character to get with your gift card or your stones or whatever uh, from the Baba Shop... I would highly recommend getting Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta because he's just such an MVP. We get the beautiful stun. We're taking no damage whatsoever. We're getting super here as well. So this played out very beautifully. Uh, I am able to actually get a stun on Gohan as well. Because again, Raz does have a guaranteed stun. And now we make sure that Gotenks is also stunned here for basically two turns. Which unfortunately Goku decided not to stun here. So again, a lot of issues... Uh, when it comes to RNG for characters who have a 70% chance of stun. Um, okay, so for this stage here, of course, I'm going to keep going on Gohan here. Because then we have here type advantage. And now I'm able to get here 6 key spheres, so I'm pretty much good to go. I'm going to go ahead and stun here Gohan. And I'm going to have here Vegeta just go for basically Gohan here as well. Um, so fortunately, the orbs did not drop the way I wanted to, but that's okay because again... Even if Vegeta is able to get a super attack, he doesn't actually do that much damage, which is very unfortunate. So, 
Uh, it is what it is, as they say. So, here comes the Goku and Vegeta. All right, we actually get a triple super. There's one super attack. Oh, there's a double super. And by the way, Gohan hits like a truck in this event here, which is really ridiculous. All right, there's number two, and then here comes number three. No, that's fine. But you can see here from that double super, we took about a quarter of his HP, which is really intense, right? So again, also Raz guarantees stun for, for the one turn, but also um, maybe we actually might get a two, two turn stun, which would be really good. Alright, so there we go. So again, now we have your six key spheres again. And go and also gone is done for two turns. So that was really well played out. Um, and of course, you're not gonna focus on go tanks as well, just to make sure he's not gonna attack this turn. And then I'm gonna have here, of course, Vegeta go back and Gohan and slowly, slowly kill him slowly. Alright, so there we go, boom. Again, just right here is just hard carry by Raditz because Raditz again with a guaranteed stun is just ridiculous. Um, we got another stun here from Vegeta, so we have two turns stun. I'm gonna be right back here because my iPad's about to die. Oh. All right, all right. All right, we are back. All right, so there we go. I had to get my charger here before I lose the audio. Okay, so now again we have our Go Tanks is gonna be stunned, beautiful, immaculate. Now I can actually go ahead and go for the kill here on Gohan. I can see here we are able to get here six key spheres again for Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Uh, we make sure we have Raz go for Gohan just to make sure he doesn't damage us, and then we have to we have to rely here Goku to stun Go Tanks again. So again, pure Saiyans I would say is definitely difficult, uh, a lot more difficult compared to Giant form in my opinion, right? Just because, listen, Giant Form is not that difficult with Lobo's, you know, Lobo's first uh, for the um, Raditz, Vegeta, and Kid Goku. But this right here, you have every god tier character in this game uh, for pure Saiyans. And it's just so ludicrous how much damage you take from this, right? Um, the damage is just way different. Alright, so there we go. And I think this is where I'm basically... We actually get a stun here from Raditz. We actually get a stun here, that's right. And then now we actually have here a beautiful stun from Goku. Yes, so we actually get the stun here. Chef's Kiss, we are in the clear. So we actually don't have to worry about Gohan, right? Um, we have the beautiful um, transformation, which is really good. Again, also Raz is stun for two turns. So now we're actually able to keep going for um, for Go Tanks here, right? Uh, what do I do here? I'm pretty sure I put I go attack you here. Yep, there we go. And I have you go for go tanks as well, just like this. And then Vegeta, unfortunately, we're not able to get a super attack, which is fine. Uh, but at least now we can concentrate here on Gohan slowly, right? So again, this is a very slow burn, but I mean the RNG was looking was actually working out very well. Um, the guarantee stun from Rajic is very OP. But look at this, 55% by the way. Um, and we're doing ridiculous damage. Now, do keep in mind as well, is that when the opponent is stunned here, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta does actually do more damage, right? Because I believe an extra... How much attack does he actually get here on Super Attack? I believe it's maybe 60%. I might be wrong. I'm not too sure here. But um, again, if Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is attacking a stunned enemy, his attack does greatly raise. Um, do we take care of Gohan? No, we don't actually. That's unfortunate. Uh, but that's okay, because even if we actually fall below 70%, we are A-OK, -okay. and the reason why is because we had that free heal from Goku and Vegeta. Um, so yeah, so there we go. We have here uh, Raditz go, of course, for Go Tanks, maybe stun for two turns. And I have to make sure that these orbs fall down correctly because we desperately need six keys for this next phase. All right, so we get a super attack here, which, by the way, level three dodge, beautiful, because, again, that does save us damage here, but I mean, that doesn't matter because, again, we would have the heal anyway. All right, and then there we go. We take care of Gohan, so now we can actually focus on Gotenks. All right, so now this all really depends on Raditz. He has a 50% chance of stun. I did give him more additional than crits, which by the way, we actually got a stun here. So now we're looking mighty, mighty fine. And also, of course, here, Vegeta is able to basically do more damage. Okay. And then there goes my, the friend Vegeta here as well. So now we pretty much have Gotenks in a stun lockdown, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I make sure, like, right, it doesn't even matter what he gets here. Uh, because 
you know, he's only 55%, so he doesn't have a chance to actually do additional super attacks. Uh, we give this here to you, and then, of course, we give this here to um, Goku as well. So we are able to heal up here. All right, so there we go. We're just basically at almost 2 million uh, with the attack stat. And we get a stun. Beautiful crit, double super attack. So we're getting even more damage here to go tanks. And now we can actually... Do we actually transform? No, we're actually not able to transform with the Super Vegeta. Alright, so there we go. As long as you keep the ball rolling, I can see here Goku again decides not to stun. There's a reason why I kept, you know, dying in this event here. But, um... But yeah, here we go. We give this here to you. Uh, do I go for the kill here? I do. I think I go for the kill. Alright, so now, basically, I'm trying to kill Gotenks' phaser because, again... I want to make sure I'm starting the next phase with the rotation of rats and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, Vegeta here. Alright, so there's one attack, no stun. But again, of course, here, the LR Goku and Vegeta, they can triple super, so I am relying on RNG right here. Alright, so we have beautiful crit, and there we go, Gotenks is done -zo. So now we actually move to the next phase, and this is where it gets very difficult. You'd think that falling the same exact formula would be pretty is easy. But the thing is that the Kid Goku is an in-type unit. So this is where, you know, things get very spicy, right? So we got very lucky again. Uh, the luck on this run was very good. Reason why is because most of the attacks are in the front. And now we only have your Kid Goku at the back. But I believe I actually restart the app here. Because I thought for a second I, I misplayed. Um, which I think I did. Because I think I was supposed to aim here for Super, Sa for Super Saiyan Kid Vegeta. And I don't remember who I chose, so I did decide to restart the app here. That I do remember. Yeah, so I decided to restart the app here because I did a misplay. Alright, so here we go again. And this was the most difficult part here of the entire run are these two menaces. Because Kid Goku and Vegeta, they love to super attack. So, uh, again, this, this stage here, I would probably say is difficult. Movie bosses is definitely, way more, definitely the hardest one in my opinion. Uh, without that LR number, it's like, it's it's definitely doable, but it's just not, it's, it's not fun at all right here, right? So, um, I make sure I go here for Super Saiyan 3 Goku, just to make sure. Um, I actually don't remember this, this part right here, because it's been a couple of days, but um, we want to make sure that we kind of isolate the Kid Goku, because the Kid Goku is our biggest weak point, right, for Tech Gratis. So, of course we get Super, and this is why you want Vegeta on this turn here with rats just because again um you can see here that we are getting super and basically Vegeta is able to absorb all that damage uh if this was tech rats the tur version we would have died instantly because uh he does have 50 percent damage reduction but i mean this this mole right here is just not for the weak it's really not for the weak here um so there we go we get a beautiful stun from vegeta so now we are looking gucci and now we actually have here a stun here from rats as well just to make sure he's stunned under control and um, since we got super, then there's oh, there's a good chance that we don't that we actually don't get super next phase, um, because now we actually have to risk here uh, putting Raditz in slot number one. Now again, Raditz with his damage reduction is taking 80k of damage from type neutral. Um, so this was a very big gamble. As long as we don't get super uh, in the front, then we are pretty much good to go, right? So I actually don't remember my play here. Um, but I decided to put Goku and Vegeta in slot number one, which is fine. We go for the guarantee stun here on Raditz. On the, on the Kid Vegeta. And then we we'll actually go back here on the on the um, Int Goku here. Um, with Super Saiyan Goku. Alright, so there we go. So as long as we don't get Super, we're fine. We take 100k. This is what damage, redu the, sorry, damage reduction here, by the way. And they take 100k on normals. Again, this mode does not mess around. Um, I'm not really too worried at this point, though, because we do have Goku and Vegeta on turn 2. So that means when we get them on turn 4, we actually get that free heal as well, just in case we are in danger. Um, again, with the triple super, uh, really good for defense, but also good for damage as well. And now we actually go slowly take out here the rest of the gang here. So there we go, our guaranteed stun again. And Raj is just the MVP. Like, this, this play, I will applaud myself because... I didn't think it was possible, but also shout out to everyone else that actually did the Noidum run without Super Vegeta because it's way more difficult without him. But it is doable. It's very doable, right? Um, so I can see here that, of course, the Goku is stunned for two turns. 
Um, and also we want to make sure that we don't take any damage here. Uh, so I keep going on Goku because Goku, again, is the number one priority. The rest we don't really care about because um, he is going to be stunned here for two turns. I have Vegeta. Make sure to go for the Kid Vegeta. And we almost have a Dokkan attack as well. So um, that was also really nice to see here. That we've been kind of grinding for a long time. And now we actually have here a Dokkan attack next phase. So I get this here to Vegeta to make sure that we take care of Kid Vegeta. Okay, we actually get supered again, which is completely fine. Because Vegeta is going to survive it. But I actually almost die here because we're taking 10k of damage per normal, which is really disgusting. Alright, so we barely survive this turn. Alright, and we get our, our, our stun here. And then look at that. We <laughs> almost don't make it here, even with uh, Vegeta's damage reduction. Um, so luckily, you know, there was not one more attack at the front because if there was... We would have died, but that's fine here. All right, so I believe we have like probably five or six K of HP. And now this is where basically Vegito's, um, Vegito's which, well, uh, active skill becomes very good, right? Because now we have this beautiful heal. This was probably a misplay, but I probably should have just maybe saved it for next phase. But um, I decided to go for the, uh, whatchamacallit, Ford Transformation. And the reason why is because, again, Vegito does have a medium chance to crit. So I might as well just give it here to Vegito here. Uh, just to make sure that we are able to do maximum damage here and heal up as well. So as long as we can stun and take care of this, um, whatchamacallit. As long as we can take care of Kid Vegeta and stun Kid Goku, the run is pretty much, it's game over. Because right now there's almost nothing that... Uh, Kid Goku can do once we have him in the stock lockdown, right? So here we go. We get a beautiful 18 key super. And then we go for the kill. Alright, here goes the beautiful crits. Yep, 3.4. Beautiful and a double super. So again, in my opinion, I would say go more additional than crits, especially for Vegito. Just because we are able to basically. Um, uh, make sure that his defense is actually really good here. So there we go with the beautiful stun. And of course, Vegeta decides not to kill Kid Vegeta, which is really disgusting. Um, very unfortunate. All right. So now we have uh, beautiful HP, but now this is a gamble here. The reason why is because if Vegeta decides not to um, basically... Um, yeah, this was a very scary turn here because if Vegeta decides not to stun... We are looking not the greatest here, right? So, I actually don't remember how I break this down. But because of Ajo's v uh, Vegeta decided not to kill Kid Goku, we find ourselves in this very ugly situation. Um, I'm pretty sure I go for, yeah, I go for um, Kid Vegeta. Then I have Goku actually go for Kid Goku. So, this was very important. I needed Goku to come in a clutch right here. If there's a chance for me to stun, it would be this turn right here because, again, there's going to be one attack at the back if we actually decide not to, um, not to kill, uh, what's his face here? Not to kill, uh, Kid Goku. Um, now I was pretty confident that we were going to kill, uh, what's his face here? Um, Kid Vegeta, but we actually don't kill him. And that was actually very clutch because you can see here that we were about to get super attacked, so... Um, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta comes in with a very clutch, uh, very beautiful stun. So, of course, here Goku is able to survive. And now we take care of... Whatchamacallit. Now, basically, the run is over here. Because now we're able to basically take care of business. Um, I'm pretty sure we go for a stun for Raditz here. What do we do here? I know for sure we go for... I'm pretty sure we go for um, Kid Vegeta, if I remember this correctly here. We go for Kid Vegeta, and then I, I don't know what happens here. I actually forget here. Do I rotate off Raditz? I'm pretty sure I do. I would have to anyway. Yeah, so we go basically for, we go for Gota, go for, sorry, for Kid Goku, and then I have Vegeta just take care of this freaking AGL Kid Vegeta. So boom, there we go. Then we have this go on you as well. And now Rats is also able to get a super attack. So we are pretty much really, really close. And we just have to make sure that we survive this. Alright. 
So here comes Vegito. All right, there's one attack. So fortunately, you know, he's still alive here. And now we finally take care of Kid Vegeta. All right, and now this all really depends on Raditz if he actually can stun here for two turns. Um, because if we get it, the run's over. The run is done, so I don't remember if we actually get this here. And we don't. Okay, so now again, it's a huge, huge gamble, right? Um, <laughs> this run, this, this, this was very stressful. I remember this part here because we were so close. And now I have to make sure that we basically don't get supered by uh, Vegeta at the back here because he will get us killed here. So uh, luckily I was able to get here two super attacks with a chance of super attack. And then basically it's up to the, uh, whatchamacallit, it's up to Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta to actually stun here, which we get. So because of that, we have the guaranteed victory. And there we go for the no item run. So that's going to be 8 out of 10. Uh, basically, all I have left is going to be here movie bosses and androids, right? Because those two are, like, very difficult. Um, androids is actually very possible. Movie bosses, I've seen some screenshots, but it's not, you know, it's not that easy. I'd say, I'd say it's very RNG, but, you know, we are able to get it done here. So, there it goes, of course, here, um, the run. Uh, let me know what you guys think, of course. Again, this was done without the Super Vegeta. No item run, Tech Rad is the MVP, number two, Vegeta, and then number three is going to be here, Vegito. Um, just because of that beautiful free heal. Alright, so there we go. We finally take care of Kid Goku, and the run is donezo. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, sub for more videos, come down below. Let me know what you guys think about the run. Let me know, you guys, your team build. You guys beat it. You guys find it the hardest. But there we go, 26 minutes, and... Um, just before Super Vegeta, right? So, but now say thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. So for more videos, come down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!